Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Jet and Airways where a smile goes a long way. Well today is a very very exciting day for many people all around the world because well not, on, not only are we at the amazing and most beautiful San Diego Air, Airport um, but we also have here the 737-900, the long-awaited 900. Um, to be honest, I haven't been hanging out for it. I already have the uh, 700 and the 800. But a lot of people around the world have been waiting for this one to come out. And here it is. She is a biggie, guys. She is a biggie. She is the mother of all 737s. Oh, yeah, this is as big as it gets. And this from PMD is going to be as good as it gets, okay? This will be the last 737 we'll see from PMDG for a long, long time until they bring out the MAX. But I'm expecting that to be at least one year or two years away by the time they do the 777 and the 747. So the MAX will be a long way away. But doesn't she look gorgeous? She is beautiful. Just standing back, you can get an idea of the length. She is a long one, and uh, she's a big girl, as big as they come for the 737s. And uh, I like the look of it. I love the look of all uh, 737s, PMDG or otherwise. I just love the 737. Uh, so I am, am going to enjoy this. Whether I include it in my airline, I'm not sure. Most of our pilots in um, Jetin have the 800 or the 700. And uh, we like to fly together because we can all see the same jet in livery. Um, so I'm not sure if I will fly this uh, in the group multiplayer modes, but I will have a few trips in it. And maybe I can use it for jet and airways. She takes a lot more people, this version of the aircraft. I think this is the version that can take more people than the 800. Um, so she'll be good for long flights. We can go cr across the Tasman from New Zealand to Australia with a lot more people on board. So the 900 will be quite useful for those longer flights. Okay, so let's get up and have a look in the cockpit. Cockpit can't really see anything different here. It is going to be the same as like flying the 700, the 600 or the 800. Um, so not a big difference there. The difference will be, I think a few of the systems have all been updated. We still don't have the electronic flight bag. That is still a disappointing, given that the uh, X-Plane 12 Zebo 737 has had it for years, um, but they can't seem to put it in here yet. Maybe a few issues with uh, a Sobo, I don't know. But this is a beautiful thing, guys. The cockpit is beautiful, just like the 700 and the 800. I just love it. Uh, so nothing much changes inside, but we will have to be more careful on departure so that we don't get a tail strike. And on landing, we'll have to come in at a bit higher speed so we don't uh, end up on the grass or in the drink. I think our approach speed may be around about 150, 155 knots, depending on your payload, of course, how many passengers you, passengers you have on board. Um, now let's have a look around in the cockpit. This is all good. Pretty much standard 737 stuff. The only change we will see inside the cockpit, I think, is when we get the 737 uh, Max. That will be a little bit different because the MFD, the glass cockpit, the uh, glass displays will be a little bit bigger. Let's have a look in the cockpit here. Nothing's changed here. It is all just as good as ever. Beautiful. Fresh, clean, tidy, and simple. I have to say simple, um, because when you compare the X-Plane uh, Zebo 737 4K mode, um, this does not compare at all. The, the 747 in uh, X-Plane 11 and 12, the 4K version, is just really beautiful. And uh, it cannot compare. It's just way better than this. Let's let's be honest, okay? Let's be honest. The um, the Zebo 737-800 is a lot more beautiful and photorealistic. More photorealistic than this one when it comes to the cabin. I have to be honest and, and say that, okay? 
Um, but it is a beautiful thing. I do like it. The flight simulator is not all about the cabin, as you know. It's all about the experience, the systems, the cockpit, and uh, a lot of things involved in making a good simulator, not just the textures in the cabin. Um, but all those things are important in my book. But this is beautiful. Very beautiful. New Zealand is way ahead of the time, uh, ahead of most of the most of the world. We are a day ahead of most people in the world. Um, so I think I probably got this um, a bit before everybody else. So that is pretty cool. So here it is. Just messed up my views a little bit, trying to get back into the uh, get back up into the cockpit. Um, so here we go ladies and gentlemen, I have it, one of the first channels in the world, Jet and Airways has the 737-900, first impressions are good, I really love it because I'm a 737 enthusiast, um, I may have to send it into the workshops for Jonathan to do the painting, to paint it all up in Jet and Airways livery, which is just a fantastic, beautiful looking livery, not saying that just because I made it. Well, I probably am. Uh, but those of you who fly for Jet and Airways and are part of my channel, you will know how beautiful uh, the livery looks on these lovely PMDG 737s. Just gorgeous. Okay, on our next video, we're going to take it for a flight. We're going to go from uh, Kaysan up to uh, Los Angeles, which, I, which is our, our number one flight, our basic flight that I always do if I've got something new to show off, especially if it's an aeroplane. Um, so there we go. That is it, guys. It is gorgeous. Are you going to get it? I paid $49.99 Kiwi dollars, which I don't think is really too bad. I don't think that is too bad. Um, I think that is okay, really. Um, but that's it. There's no more 737s to buy. You either have the 600, 700, 800 or 900. Make your choice. I don't think you need all of them. Uh, I bought this one basically for the channel so I could uh, showcase it on the channel and do a few flights. Um, but if I didn't have the channel, I would probably just stick with the 800, I think, because, uh, because well, there's not much difference. Only the fact that the plane is a little bit longer. Okay, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Will you be buying it? Um, I know some of the Jet and Airways pilots are thinking about it. Not sure if we will or not. And our, um, in our group flights, multiplayer sessions, most of us fly the 737s or the 800. I mean the 700 or the 800. Um, so not sure if we'll be using this one in the, in the multiplayer mode. But uh, seriously thinking about uh, if I should get this one painted for the airline. Take care guys, stay safe and let me know in the comments if you are buying it, what do you think of the price and um, and what do you think. Okay, talk to you very very soon when we do a flight in this uh, 737-900. Take care, cheers, bye.